statistics, the crime rate in Capital State is higher now than even Detroit. Not one, but five notorious gangs are bringing the, chief the state. Chief of Police is forming a new division to clean up gang-related crime. Today marks the dawn of a new era in crime fighting. We're starting an elite force that'll root out every lowlife, drug-dealing scumbag that works for these gangs. We'll be using the latest hardware, prototype weapons, and special tactics to bring them to justice. The gangs of Capital State are officially on notice. Starting today, we're taking back the streets. And what should we call this new initiative? The Pursuit Force. to welcome all to the Pursuit Force Let's Play. Um, one of my favorite PSP games growing up when I was uh, a lot younger. If um, During my Siphon Filter Dark Mirror playthrough, I actually briefly brought up this game in, in my hopes that Sony would add this to the PS Plus Premium Catalog, and then uh, two or three weeks later, they wound up adding it, so it was just meant to be, right? Um, I'm gonna just start this right away, and uh, I'll just explain things as the game goes by. So, anyways, here are the the factions, all the different missions you can do for right now. The only missions we can do are for the Capelli family and the Warlords. And uh, yeah, we'll start with the Capelli family. God, I, I love those openings so much. They're so cool. So, um... For 20 years, I've been trying to take down the Capellis, the most powerful organized crime family in the state. Johnny Leone, one of Don Capelli's made men, finally broke the Mafia code of silence this morning. We need to get Leone to a safe house out of state. Drive him to Presidential Airport, Prano, or you'll hand him over to the feds. I don't want to scratch on this rat. All right, so yeah, we're just gonna jump straight into this. Um, but yeah, like I said, one of my favorite games of all time. To the yeah, get me the hell out of Dodge. The Don wants me pushing up daisies. Now you probably noticed that the voice volume is pretty low in the game, but that's only because uh, it's really the only way I could balance out the game volume with my microphone volume. We're gonna put you in a wooden kimono, Leone. Put your foot down. Don't let that car tail you. But um, we're gonna get that rat over your dead body. So if you're not paying attention to the beginning text box. We are currently escorting a snitch to the police, or to the airport. But yeah, welcome to Pursuit Force, and th there will be many times... Th there will be many times where I will be interrupted by the game. Mainly by the amount of dialogue that you'll hear throughout the missions. But yeah, this game was one of the first ever PSP games I ever had on my, uh, well, PSP growing up. I just thought... Oh, I want to keep talking, but like... I keep... 
getting interrupted by, by people in the game. Oh my god. So in case you're wondering, you know, what the hell this game is, simply put, it's a game where you play as the commander of a, an elite pursuit force that has been tasked with taking down these notorious, powerful crime games, right? And that's the gist of it, you know? The, the gameplay is pretty much this, you're driving around, but the main selling point was the fact that you had the ability to jump from vehicle to vehicle, and you were able to hijack their, uh, all their, their weapons. Whoa, voice crack. Mm, what happens? But, uh, this is just a great game. I mean, a lot of these, uh, you'll see as the game, uh, they got some pretty quirky characters. But, uh, I don't know, I just feel like for its time, like 2005, like there was a game, there was really nothing like this. Like it's it's really impressive the, uh, the kind of variety of gameplay that this game has. So this part, the the little full justice bar, what that does basically is it uh, heals you, heals your vehicle, increases damage, and kind of puts you into a bullet time like Max Payne style, or like something like that. Well, you really did a number on those guys. Well, that's the mission, right? Um, I know it probably may not seem like much, but uh, that's because this game starts out pretty slow. <laughs> Good work! Now he'll squeal in the Capellis. You know, son, you remind me of me. So, as you can see, there is a ranking system in this game, or a rating system. It's really just a way for them to give you, like, you know, routes or vehicles, because there are some mini-games you can play, some races, some time trials. Don Capelli has sent a team of hitmen down river to assassinate the delegates at the state security conference in Aspen Town. The Super Pursuit boat is fueled up and ready to take out Capelli's hitmen. Remember, you're swimming with sharks out there. So, for this next mission, I, uh, Take I had briefly touched on this game having, you know, lots of variety in gameplay, and this is an example of them. You know, you'll, you'll be driving vehicle, you know, all kinds of vehicles, you know, uh, 4x4s, motorcycles, boats. Sports cars. Even at some points, he'll be riding in the in a helicopter using a machine gun or a minigun. So, as you can see, this is where this is the main gameplay or the goddamn phone. You serious, man? All right, man. I'm back. Sorry about that. You know. Hey man, just when you're playing some Pursuit Force, you know, life gets in the way, and you got phone calls to answer, it happens, man. But anyways, like I was saying, um, here's, you know, what makes the game special. It's, you know, unique, you know, jumping from car to car ability. And you might have also um, I just seen my little bullet time slow-mo so when my little bottom right meter is full and I do this I go into slow-mo where I have the ability to shoot thank you chief for interrupting me for uh, shoot whoever's in the vehicle so yep that's the mission um 
these starting missions will start a bit slower. You know, just so you get a feel for the game. Shut up, Chief. Just so you get a feel for the game. You know, it's meant to be more of a tutorial, I guess. Hey, we got some new stuff. Alright, so now we get to be introduced to the Warlords. So, yeah, there are about five, or, yeah, I think five different... Intercept the warlords! I hope you brought your flak jacket. These army renegades are out for blood. Five different factions, criminal factions, and uh, the, the one thing, or one of the few things I love about this game are each faction have their own unique weapons, their own unique... Um, vehicles right and um i just love the uniqueness for you know each of the factions and they actually give each faction like a lot of you know personality as you can see like i got a military truck because you know these are meant to be more of like a private military i got the assault rifle Uh, they don't really explain this in the, in the story, um, but that lady who was talking, she's the one that's piloting that helicopter right there. Her name is Sarah Hunter. The helicopter just wanted to be soldiers and couldn't stomach boot camp. But, um... But what makes me so happy about them finally adding this game to the PS Plus Premium Catalog is that this hopefully means they will add the sequel to this game, which was Extreme Pursuit Force Pursuit Force Extreme Justice and that game is my favorite PSP game of all time. It pretty much takes everything I love about this game and ramps it up to 11. It's just better in every way. Way more vehicles, way more weapons, a more fleshed out story. You know, an actual story, a great story to follow with great characters. And uh, yeah, hopefully with them adding this game, this could only mean they're adding, or hoping, hope, hope, or ugh, words. Hopefully they'll add the sequel. But uh, yeah, th this was definitely one of those games where I just. Wait a hustle. I didn't think you had it in you. I may keep you after all. It's just one of those games where I, I thought I would never get to play again. Because, uh, you know, my PSP is long gone by now. So, when you get promoted, like right now, it just unlocks new missions. So, we got some new missions. We got a new faction. Uh, faction, well, faction. The convicts, right? Let's see. I think we got time for maybe two more missions. So, uh... You know what? Let's do this one. Let's do the uh, Warlords 
Hard work. Ugh, can't speak today. Whoa. Hardware hijacked. There's trouble at the airport. The warlords have hijacked military hardware from a cargo plane, and they're making off with it along Interstate 77. If we let them get to the city, there'll be no stopping them. Destroy the hardware if necessary. Sir, yes, sir. Aye, aye. So here we have the There's pursuit bike, the Hurry you lose them. which is, um, in my opinion, one of the best vehicles to drive. Yeah, the only board. issue is, uh, These don't take you don't really get a lot of time to really use it. Because, you know, by the time you get it, you use it for a few seconds, and then you're forced to hijack another vehicle for the objective. Speed's fine, so, cop, but accuracy is final. I've already played a good chunk of this game already, uh, recently, because this game's, this game's been out on PS5 for a Good few days now, but uh, when I got it, I was gonna play it or I was gonna record it first, but I thought I would first just you know have fun with it for the nostalgia. Then I I accidentally wound up playing two thirds of the game in one sitting, which is something I don't really do that much anymore. I don't really sit down and just play games for hours. It's kind of I don't know, games today suck, honestly, so it is nice to kind of relive that feeling again of just being excited for a video game and enjoying it. You know, this whole PS Plus Premium, I know there's a whole lot of mixed feelings about it, but, you know, in my opinion, I think it's worth the money. It's worth the, like... I don't know what the yearly fee is. It might be like a hundred twenty dollars. Pop up these army pukes and steal one of their boats. You're gonna have to pry this hardware from our cold dead hand. So before I continue that thought, um, here is another. Here is another big part of the gameplay. Which is the third person, uh, shooty shooty parts. Which, honestly, they're kind of wonky. Mainly because I think this game was intended to mainly be a third person, like, driving game. So the aiming and, you know, all this stuff, it, it's, it's weird. Not the best feeling in the world. I'm not really supposed to be up and around, you know running and gunning, but uh, since I know I could revive my health, I'm not that worried. But anyways, about PS Plus Premium, with the games you get in the, you know, PSP, the Classics catalog, and also with like, the free PS5 games, like honestly, it's worth it, because you spend $120, but what, you save like, hundreds of more dollars, because... Some of these games, like recently, they added this Honor 2, uh, Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. And uh, I know there's still a bunch of other games that are still a part of the uh, premium membership. Like they got Returnal, which I recently played, and while that game really pissed me off, it was still a lot of fun. Stray is there. They recently got, you know, the Division 1, Division 2, Watch Dogs, Legion, I, you know, like, point being, they have a lot of games in their catalog, and I think it's worth the, the hefty fee for premium. And you get Pursuit Force, which is this, which was the big selling point for me, really. Uh, only downside though is um, they have PS3 games, which is great, but you have to stream them. They me to have to 
and uh, I can barely maintain a, a stable connection. There's so much input lag, and it's just it's just a nightmare. Look at that in one go. I generally do not really enjoy these boat sections. Good job. This will make those warmongers think twice you know, it's next time. Not a whole lot of mobility on the water. I may and, um, keep you after all. There are some sections in these boat missions that will require a lot of mobility while using boats. All right, so currently 21 minutes in the video. Let's end this off with a mini boss. So when you reach the halfway point of these faction missions or these arcs, you fight off the mini boss of these uh, gang leaders. Johnny Leone, that rat you saved from the Capellis, popped up some valuable info. The Don put a contract on the mayor today. His trusted lieutenant, Stefano De Tommaso, aka Deadeye, he's the triggerman. The mayor's traveling back from a vacation in Snowstorm Peaks. I want you to tail Deadeye and his cronies. When they make their move, cover the mayor. And if you get Deadeye in your sights, be his judge and jury. Hell yeah. Deadeye's up ahead. Stay on him. So... Speaking of uh, earlier, I brought up Siphon Filter Dark Mirror, which is a let's play you can watch at some point. Um, they also added the sequel to that game, Siphon Filter Logan Shadow, which is a uh, it's cool because not only is it the, the sequel, but it was the last Siphon Filter yeah, they made. Stay at this distance and wait for them to play their hand. And uh, when I was young, I only had the demo on my PSP, so I'm looking forward to playing that, so st yeah, stay tuned for that. And uh, as you can see, we are doing a tailing mission. You know, it's everyone's favorite type of mission in video games. Thankfully, they don't, these kind of missions rarely happen in the game. And this one does not last that long and uh it's funny because the whole point of this you know tailing mission is that they don't notice us right but as you can see we're literally like 20 feet behind them and <laughs> they could easily spot this reckless driving so i don't know kind of defeats the purpose of this tailing mission but hey man it's whatever it's video games you know what i'm saying So, you probably notice that when I hit vehicles, it says Lawbreaker on the bottom right. They're making their move on the mayor! Protect him at all costs! Help! Help! Ah! So, you might remember, there's a... Remember this face, cop, because the next time you see it, I'm punching your ticket for good. Thank you. I thought I was a goner for sure. Nice work. Now, get after Deadeye. So, at the end of every mission, as you, as you know, you get rated. And uh, a big chunk of what determines your rating is whether or not you hit civilians. If you hit civilians, your rating goes down. Because you're meant to be uh, a officer of the law who protects and serve. Not who swerves into incoming traffic, you know, it makes sense. And uh, for this part, for some reason, they all, they program Deadeye to just zoom across this level, like, in an instant. Like, he makes so much progress so quick, but uh, we're catching up to him right now. Looks like Deadeye's making a break for it upriver. So here's an example of um, why I don't really enjoy these boat rest, missions. You're out of your league. Stay sharp. Dead eyes a stone cold killer. Dead eye didn't get his name for nothing. He's the best triggerman the mob has. If he gets you in his sights, say your prayers. 
So you can probably guess what happens if those reticles get on me. And to avoid it, you gotta keep moving. And you know, this thing moves so slow, it it really does not take a lot to, for him to uh, lock onto your head. Damn it! Can't you sit still? But uh, these tend to be my favorite kind of missions. You know, not the ones that um. Not specifically boss fights, but the ones where they have you do, you know, multiple things in a mission. You know, one second you're driving you a car. That rat to die. Now you're in a boat. You know, it adds some, you know, from ugh, adds some variety to the missions. Boat. Come on. You can whack me, but there's a whole crew waiting to take my place. Hurry, he's making a run for it. No! Boom. I put the dead. Ah. And you dead eye. Dead dead okay. eye Poor joke, I know, I've but I had to. I've always found this pretty cool, actually, when I was playing this, as you can see in the leaderboard. Um, you know, their other people's ratings are from 2005. And I'm playing this in 2023, right? Like, isn't that crazy? Like, that's nearly, like, what? Like, 17, 18 years? That's crazy. So, that will, that will do it for the first part of this game. Um, I hope you're into it, man. Like, this is one of my favorite PSP games, and... Yeah, I can't wait to, you know, play more of it for you. So, yeah, I will see you in the next one.